And I just wanted you guys to know that when you mourn, I mourn. When you rejoice, I rejoice. We are all connected and I care about all of you guys, every single soul. You know, it's like when, when Jesus goes back to that, leaves the 99 sheep to find that one. Every single one of us is important. And we are all connected. We all have Jesus in us. We all have the blood of Christ in us. So I just want us to connect deeper and to have a more spiritual relationship because we are all children of God and we should all motivate and encourage each other and pray for each other. So let's not forget that we all belong to the same Father. We all have the same Father. We all have the same blood running through us. We were all created in the hands of the same God. So don't forget that when you have anger towards one another. Remember, they are a child of Christ just as you are. And just as Jesus forgives you, you must forgive. I can think of so many sins that I have made, I don't even feel worthy of them being forgiven. And But they, but they like, but Jesus died on the cross. Jesus died on that cross for all my sins. We just have to forgive ourselves and each other. And if you ha have sin in you, and the worst sin that you can think of, that you know, we've all had horrible sin. We've all done things that we regret. And we feel sometimes like, oh, can Jesus forgive me of this sin? Yes, he can. But remember that if he could forgive you of that sin, then you have to forgive. So, I just want you guys to know how important you are to me and how important you are to God. And just know that you're not alone. We are all one. We are all children of God. So let's be there for each other and support each other. Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video a little bit more different from my other videos. I wanted to make this one more of a vlog so you can get to know me on a more personal level so it can feel more like a friendship fellowship. Um, so I thought that I would give this a try and see how this goes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's more of a still talking about um, my Christian life and being a Christian and talking about God and my path with God. And I thought I would take you more on a personal journey. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. And I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. This is a blanket that I got for Christmas and it was handmade by my sister. It says, be loved, let us love one another for love is from God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God, John 40, 4, 7. And it has a little cross right there with pearls. And I just threw it over my couch, just as a little throw blanket. So I think it's perfect there. And then I also got this sign for Christmas. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. Psalm 91, 14, and that was for my husband. And so I thought it was perfect to go here in my living room and then right up, right under the um, windows. So every time I read that, I always look up at God. I wanted to share my prayer closet with you guys. I think it's really important for us to have 
a prayer closet, um, a place where we can come and talk to God and cry out to God, pray to God, worship Him, um, just to just uh, have that really deep, deep, personal relationship with Him. I think it's really important to just shut the door and um, just pour out your heart out to Him and shut out the noise from you know all of the distractions that are out there so i think it's important for you to have your own prayer closet where you can really it's just you and god in the closet worshiping him um and just having that intimate moment with god and with the holy spirit i think it's important for you to find a place in your home doesn't really need to be a closet but um, just a place where you feel like okay this is a place where I won't get any distractions and I can really cry out to him pour out to him pour out my heart to him without getting interruptions because I know um, you know maybe we have kids or a husband that's always looking for us but you know when when it's time to get into that moment with Jesus then you tell everyone you're going to go into that room and you don't want any distractions and they know that you're serious not to come in in between you and your time of worship so this is one of the signs that I have in my prayer closet is in the name of Jesus and here I have like a little jewelry box and it says it says he leadeth me beside still waters he restore my soul and that's from Psalms 20, 23. And inside of it, I have my mother's um, diamond earring. And my sister has the other one that she would always wear. But um, that's one of the things that I kept from her when she passed away because um, she, she was always wearing those. So I kept that in there. And here I have a prayer box. And, um, so inside of it, you can, you know, write a little prayer. It comes with a little pen and then it says, I call on the Lord in my distress and he answers me. So I'm, uh, 121. So I have that in there and then I have. Let me switch to the other side. Here on this side, I have a little, um, a little desk, um, a little, what are these called? Filing cabinet. I have a little filing cabinet where we keep all our uh, personal information. But on the side of it, I have um, little sticky notes. And it is just uh, some of the... It's, it's um, some of the prayers from the Bible, some verses from the Bible, some of my favorite that uh, helped me throughout the day. And here I have this little, this little round thing. Uh, this was from the Dollar Tree. It has, it's a magnet in the back and then I just have some sticky notes in there. So you just open and sticky notes. And I just have that on there. And then here is my little space. Um, water and I have my Bible right here. There's my Bible and then I have Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. Romans 8, 39. And then it will have like different ones throughout the whole notebook. So I think that's kind of cute when you're taking your uh, st study Bible notes. So I have 
Actually, I have more. I have this one. Blessed is she who believes. Luke 1, 45. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. I have a whole bunch of books that I really need to study. And I haven't organized them, but I'm still working on this prayer closet. So I kind of don't want to show you too much. But um, let me just show you a little. So I have all these um, that eventually I want to read. Um, so I want to just go through all of these and read some of these. Um, and read some of these to to really learn about more about the Bible. Well, uh, you know, doing more research on the Bible. So I have these, all these books that I really want to study. So there's a there's a bunch of books that um, I'm trying to to read, but it's kind of hard to. Um, to make the time, but um, yeah, I have to find the time and get organized. But first, what I do make time for is always prayer. Prayer. If I don't have uh, time to to study these these books or to read these books, then I definitely always make time uh, to spend with the Lord in the prayer closet for sure. And I also have this thing that my husband bought me. It is so big. It's, it's like the history, the timeline of the whole Bible. And I can't really um, show you all of it because it's, it's really, really long. It's like so long. Like it doesn't even fit in this room. It goes like, I don't, don't I'm not sure how far it goes, but it's pretty far. Like there's still, see, like there's a lot a lot more but it's it's the whole timeline of the bible and it starts here and i thought this was like so neat to have like just to look at and it's the timeline of of everything that happened so i really need to find the time to to study this also but it's like so huge that's like not even all of it there's a lot that's folded but it, it gets really really long but yes this is one of the gifts that he gave me for christmas but i thought that was kind of cool and fun to look at so right now i'm just going to make time to get back into my prayer closet and spend time with God. So guys, there's uh, one more thing I wanted to say. As I was in my prayer closet, um, I was praying to God about how to reach out to people and how to, um, for God to use me uh, to bring, to help bring back people to him. Um, so I was praying and I was really asking God, use me, use, you know, let the Holy Spirit dwell in me, let the Holy Spirit use me, guide me, speak for me, think for me, feel for me, and to help you bring back um, the lost sheep, to bring back the lost sheep. So I was really thinking of, how can we do this, Lord? Like, how can you use me? How can you? So I just had to grab the camera and, um, because I want this to be on a personal level. I don't want to just speak to your mind, but I want to speak to your heart. And I really, this is really important. It's important for me and for God to do this. And um, I'm taking this really serious. Like, I'm not just making YouTube videos because I'm bored. Like, no, I'm not bored. I actually have, I'm so, like, I have a family. I have things to do. Sometimes I don't even, 
I don't think that cleaning my house is that much more important than to help um, Jesus bring back people to him to help win souls. I always, whenever I, I spend time cleaning my house, I, I feel like I should be doing something else. Like I need to, you know, like my spirit is wanting to do something far more important, something that, um, I don't know. I don't want to take my life for granted and I don't want to take time for granted. And, um, I think it, it's just, important for you guys to know that too not to take life for granted or your time and to this is the time to really seek god and to find god and it's so important to do this it's so important for you to have god in your life you have no idea how much you're missing god how much your spirit is really crying out to god but you're so caught up in this world you get too busy you're so busy um, doing worldly things. And some of the things, yes, I understand we have to do like cleaning and cooking and taking care of the kids, but make room for God too. put God first. And, you know, and then maybe God will, will sort out everything else, you know, somehow everything will work out, but really seek God first and make him first pr priority in your life and time. It's, it's just really important to have God in everything that you do you know constantly think about god if you're cleaning your house you should be worshiping god you know put some worship music on as you're cleaning and you know you you can spend time with god while you're cleaning spend time with god while you're cooking um just turn on some worship music or i like to watch youtube videos uh christian youtube channels and while i'm cooking I am constantly seeking God. Like the moment I stop seeking him is when I feel like um, sometimes I get attacked or I get anxiety. So I am constantly, the devil will find opportunities to get you. And so that's why I think it's also important for you to have a prayer closet. Because um, this is a place where you can fight your battles also. Like fully put the full armor of God on and really worship really worship God, you know, turn on some, uh, some worship music and, or you can just cry it all out. Like, you know, you're away from your kids, you're away from your husband, lock yourself up in the prayer closet and just have that moment with you and God and cry out to him. Just, you know, um, I always bring some tissues in here cause I, I know that I'm just going to pour my heart out to him. And as you should too, have that relationship with God. It's so important. The this is the most important relationship that you'll ever have is with God. And if this is not, if you put other relationships before God, then everything else is just going to break apart. You really need to have God as your foundation to keep everything together, to keep your marriage together, your children together, your family. This is your foundation is God and the word of God, which is the truth, which you should always seek because the truth is what you will use to fight the demons, the devil, and his lies. Because you know the devil is a liar, but God is not a liar. God is, is, his word never lies. He never, he's not a God of, of lies. He's the truth. So you need to know your scriptures. You need to know your Bible. So you will put the full armor of God on and use, use those words. The words are your sword to fight the enemy. So it's important for you to have a prayer closet or your space or anywhere. It doesn't matter. It could be in your car. It doesn't even matter. But just to have that where no one's going to interrupt you and in your moment with God because you'll be pouring your heart out to God or you'll be worshiping God. You know, this is your, your, your time. Who knows? You know, maybe the time in your prayer closet, you know, I'm... I know the demons tremble once you get into the, your your prayer moment, your your close moments with God. The enemy trembles because he knows that you're destroying his plans. He knows that. So I cannot express to you how important it is to have your time fighting these battles. Spiritual battles. You know, destroying the enemy and his plans. 
It's so important for you to get in the word and to get in that prayer closet to just worship God through everything. You don't know how much power there is in the name of Jesus. And you have the power in Jesus' name to break curses, to break generational curses, to break, you know, uh, to break chains of anything, anything, w witchcraft, uh, any sicknesses, like you have the power. You have the power in the name of Jesus. And sometimes our faith, the devil is a liar and sometimes our faith is, is tested. And, and I admit that I fell sometimes and I always say, you know, to my husband, sometimes I feel like I have faith the size of a mustard seed. But if, you know, I know what the Bible says. Even if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, if you tell the mountain to throw itself in the sea, it will. So I just remind myself of that. And I ask God to, you know, if I, if I stumble in these paths that he has for me, I tell him to lift me up with his righteous hand, to hold me, to pick me up, and don't let me stumble, do not let me fall. I will trample the great lion and the serpent. You know, because he, you, I, I just, I just say out loud the scriptures that I know, and that is how I fight the enemy. And it's important that you know scriptures also. Look into the scriptures. My favorite one is uh, Psalm 91. So I just felt the need to just, while I was praying in my prayer closet to come and turn on the camera, just, just to let you know that it's it, how important it is to have that relationship with God. So I hope that um, that you take this serious.